Hi guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here with the first Guild Ball video that I'm going to be doing. So here we have the first team that I painted up. So this is the Brewers and this is the miniatures from the kickoff starter set. So these ones are one piece plastics but they um, they clean up really nicely there's only a little bit of mold lines and stuff on them and they paint up really good as well so the level of detail is not quite as sharp as what you get in the metal guild ball miniatures um, which are absolutely beautiful but they're also quite fiddly to put together and a little bit delicate um, especially for one of my second teams the uh, the fishmen um, they have got some uh, some very small parts and very small connection points which um, make things a little bit tricky you've got to pin them and stuff like that so the Brewers are one of the two teams from the starter set the other team which you get is the Masons and I ended up painting these guys first um, due to a poll from my work um, people voted between uh, those two teams and the Brewers won so these guys got done first. Um, I painted them up over a couple of weeks. Um, I've had a couple of weeks off before I finished them off with the basing and stuff last night. And yeah, they, they came together really nicely. So the flesh tones and stuff, I've been doing a lot of practice with some Marina Rex models and things. Um, so I'm using the AK Interactive flesh tone set um, to, to layer them up and blend them up from that. Um, and I'm getting, I think I'm getting reasonably good at, um, at doing those. And then um, the rest was just done using a combination of Vallejo and AK Interactive Paints. And then I did some oil work at the end um, to do the highlighting and shading on the cloth. So at this distance you can't quite make it out because I screwed up a little bit on the colour contrast on the, the tartan of the cloth. But if we grab the big boy stave at the back here, get this to focus in. So you'll see we've got a tartan pattern going on. Once I bump up the light. So there's two different greens and an orange going through there. So it's fairly subtle when you're looking at it through the camera, but um, it picks out all right with your naked eye. So that was just done um, doing the orange lines first and then doing a thin dark army green line um, using a triple zero brush. So. Came out quite nice. Um, I didn't do anything over the top as far as with the leather work and stuff. I haven't actually gone back and done much in the way of highlighting yet um, because I wanted these guys sort of done up to a good tabletop standard um, so I could move on and start working on some other teams. And then I'll go back and do some more sort of polishing work at the end here. So I'm um, fairly happy with how the sort of fountain of, uh, of beer foam coming out the top of his keg came out. So that's Dave. Then I'm probably going to get these t the names of these two wrong. Uh, one of them is Hopper, one of them is Tapper. So I still need to paint this guy's, this one here, his, uh, his pipe. I've forgotten about that. And I'm going to tidy up the ropes a little bit because I'm not quite happy with how those turned out. But the cloaks and stuff gave quite a lot of, quite a lot of space to work on that tartan here. You can see it a bit, bit more clearly on these guys so what I did um, where there's multiple pieces of cloth joining I tried to keep the um, the angle of the tartan slightly different um, just to show that these you know it's not high tailoring if you look at the stitching and stuff like that they have uh, repaired stuff um, fairly workmanlike so um, they wouldn't have been matching up the the cloth and everything perfectly perfectly fine so there's those two and we got Friday I'm not really happy with how the white turned out on her um, on her shirt and on the apron there, so I may do a little bit more work with some other colours on that, but I'm pretty happy with how the Ugg boots and stuff turned out. And I need to just go back through and just do a little bit of work on the um, on the hair, just doing some highlighting and stuff. So that's Friday. Then we've got the cat. The cat was just a speed paint. I've done a little bit of blending on the on the um, the muscles and stuff um, and I'm gonna go back and do you can see on this side the the flesh sort of wounds um, are picked out with some pink and some and some red but uh, I might make them a little bit more a little bit more obvious and then we've got the scar tissue here which just kind of needs a quick um, purple glaze and then that will help it pop out so there's scum the cat 
and everyone's favourite, Spigot, or Spigod, as the memes refer them to. So he's getting ready to shank someone with a wine bottle. And he's got his mug of beer in the upper hand there. So I used some translucent paints to try and get it the effect of, um, of a glass beer mug with beer inside. Came out alright. Um, and then we got foam and stuff on the top. So, And then he's got a couple more kegs and stuff on the back. So, The basing was just done using some um, Games Workshop. Get this back into focus. And get that light level back up. Was just done using some Games Workshop crackle paint, and then um, that was given a wash with AK Interactive Dark Mud, and then just had some um, just had some static grass and stuff attached to the top, and then I added a couple of lines, um, which I'm not overly happy with, but um, again this was a was a quick job, um, so there's a couple of field marking lines and stuff on there. And then a few of the models, like the cat, and um, some of the other ones have a couple of little blood spots there. Um, just using the glistening blood from Army Painters. So here's the first team, and I'll have some still shots coming up in a second of the various different players. And in the, over the next month or so, I'll be looking to paint up the Masons before I start working on my final team, um, which are the Fishermen. Who are using those aforementioned metal bottles so i'm wanting to work my way up to those so thanks for watching guys and let me know what you think of uh, how these models turned out and if you're a guild ball player yourself let me know what you think of the game cheers guys